So when you start on air and you open whichever world you live in, uh, you come to your dashboard. This is not where you should begin popping out windows. Okay? Because if you do that here, you will only get one window. If you want three windows, which is how I run, is I usually go to my aircraft screen first. There may be some other screens that work. I, I would imagine the FBO screen and employee screen would also work, but when I first come in to see what's going on for the day, I go to the aircraft screen and to check if any of my aircraft are um, due for a 100 hour or annuals. So once you get here, and I'll usually do this, right? So I know I have two aircraft that are coming up on their um, 100 hours, and I've got it's, uh, I've got to have, uh, oh, well, that's for the 414, which doesn't fly very much. But, hey, the annuals don't care how many hours you have on it. It's a, it's a, it's a date. Um, so in 17 days, I have to get that, um, that, that done. And that's on a prop, so I'm going to have to pay somebody else to do it. Our shops are all turboprop only, so somebody else will make that money. Anyway, so I come to the screen. I check to see if I got any 100-hour limitations I need to pay attention to so that I don't end up with a plane stuck somewhere. Then I start popping out screens. Now, for me, the two that I bring up are I like the live um, operations map. So that's Alt-M. This isn't popping anything out yet. It's actually changing over right to this screen. Um, and since these don't count, this is just for races. Um, I'll usually go idle, metal, which is the only cost I care about, and then I'll sort them by cargo capacity so that I get my big birds up first, because they make the most money. And then I hit the pop-up button, pop-out button, right? Okay, so that pops this out, and then I can move that off to another screen, right? So we'll do that, and I'll put it over here. This goes back to the aircraft screen. So guess what you can, the next screen I use is the job screen. So, Alt-J. And then, since now I'm basically doing FBF, FBO to FBO stuff, I'll go to the FBO query screen, and while that's loading, hit the pop-out button. And then, I'll move that to another, to another screen. But, just so you see, there are three windows. There's this one in the back. There's my live operations and my job screen. These are the three windows I use to do stuff. So if I want to do a work order for this airplane, which I will need to do, um, all I do is click on this button right here. And then the main screen will go to the work order screen for that aircraft. See? And then I can just start generating a work order. And I already have the job screen open here. And I can, if I need to pull more stuff from, you know, the queries... Uh, that first one is what MMTM. So just here we go. That'll be set, and I can pull jobs from that queue. And that's how you end up with multiple windows. You could probably do more. I don't ever have the need to, but uh, let's say if we went to uh, heck, why not? Right. Let's go back to the aircraft screen. Um, let's see if I can open up something. What else would I open? Uh, employees, maybe. Right. I don't want to crash on air in the middle of a flight. It's not fun to recover from, but. Let's go uh, employees and see if we can pop that out. I, I don't know that there's a limit, right? Yep, you can pop that out. There we go. So now we have four windows open. You can open as many as you want, just not from the dashboard. But I'll show you that. The dashboard will only let you have one. I don't know why. Well, kind of. It's a different way of... Um, so here, let's let's show it. I want to make sure I don't, don't kill my main screen. That's what I don't want to do. Because that shuts down on air. You have to be careful about that. So close that one. We'll close this one. There. Okay, so now all I have is this. Well, if we go back to the, the dashboard. Eventually. Okay. Back to the dashboard. And let's say I do the, um, the job screen from here. So Alt-J. And I pop it out, okay, and just move it over, get it out of my way. Dashboard comes back up. Now I'm going to hit, um, I don't know, Alt-A, and see it won't let you. So that, was, that should be the aircraft screen, but it won't, it, it'll beep at you. But I think if you come up here and tell it you want the aircraft screen, it'll do it. Yeah, that's the difference. If from the dashboard, the shortcuts don't work, that's all. But you could still, you could still do it. 
difficulty. There you go. There's the other window. Right there. There's my aircraft. There's my job screen. So, yeah. So now you know. That's If you want multiple windows, I don't think there's a limit. I just always do it from the aircraft screen because the keyboard shortcuts work. From the dashboard, apparently, once you open one extra window, the keyboard shortcuts don't work anymore. Don't understand why. Uh, not not that big a deal. So I hey, that was a viewer requested mini tutorial. So I'll get that video up first, and then we will. Uh, and if you're watching this as the tutorial, um, note that we are. I'm in the middle of one of our on-air flights, and I do on-air stuff in cruise. If you want to see the full flight, uh, this one in particular is from Panama City, Florida, to Cancun, Mexico. And you can find that in the On Air Flights playlist.